Russia is cranking out artillery shells three times faster than Ukraine's Western allies. The Russian shells are also costing just a quarter of their Western counterparts. A new analysis has revealed. The data released by Sky News and collated by consulting firm Bain & Company highlights the significant hurdle for the Ukrainian armed forces. Using publicly available data, the study shows that Russian factories are expected to produce or refurbish approximately 4.5 million artillery shells this year. This is in stark contrast to the combined production of about 1.3 million rounds across European nations and the U.S. The research also highlighted the cost disparity. It said NATO countries produced each 155 millimeter shells at an average cost of $4,000 per unit. Russia, on the other hand, produces each 152 millimeter shells at just 1,000 US dollars per unit. Given Kyiv's dependence Western on ammunition, the US, UK, and other European nations have tried to increase their production. But they're coming up vastly short in comparison to Russia. Ukrainian soldiers on the front lines know that for every single round they fire at Russian forces, the enemy retaliates with five shells. But to address the problem, Kyiv's forces are using their skills to maximize the impact. Senior Lieutenant, currently fighting on the front lines against Russia's forces, said, and I quote him, often, we just, with just one, two, or three shells, we can completely destroy a target. During a meeting with the leadership of Russia's defense industry enterprises on Saturday, President Vladimir Putin said the production of ammunition in the country has increased 14-fold, drone manufacturing has increased fourfold, and the assembly of tanks and armored vehicles has increased 3.5-fold since the launch of the military operation in Ukraine in February 2022. Moscow has warned that deliveries of weapons and ammunition to Kyiv by the U.S. and its allies will not prevent it from achieving its military goals, adding that it will merely prolong the fighting and increase the risks of a direct confrontation between Russia and NATO. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.